what's up? I'm back. It's been a bit of a few crazy months, but I'm back and I have to tell you guys all about what's been going on. So, everybody has those like months or days, you know, where it's just not their day, not their week, not their month. Well, that was the last three months for me and it was really not fun. Let me tell you what happened. So, I have some food allergies. Long story short, I got gluten, which I don't know if you guys know what that means. It basically means I had gluten, wheat, and it got me really, really sick. I'm allergic to gluten. And that put me out for about a week or so. That happened about three more times. So I got gluten three times, which pretty much is incapacitating. Not fun. Then I got a concussion. Yeah, I got a concussion. <laughs> so crazy. I was basically wearing a hard hat, like yeah, a hard hat, at an event for a real estate company. They just launched a brand new building, just finished the top layer of the building, and we had to wear hard hats. I hit my head on a table. I know, crazy. I ended up getting a concussion and whiplash, which is, you know, only me, right? So anyway, fast forward like five to seven weeks later, I'm finally healed from the concussion. It was a lot of like staying off the computer, staying off emails, relaxing, and just chilling out. And like that might sound nice to you guys, but like it doesn't sound nice when you have double vision, you're nauseous, you can't really think straight. Not good. So anyway, thank God I am better and I'm healed from that. And then I got a cold. And I'm not telling you guys this to like complain or whatever, but really the whole point is like this happens. Happen, it happens to everybody. Things like this happen. Maybe not this exact thing. Maybe it's worse. Maybe it's you stub your toe. Maybe there was a death in your family. But it, it matters, but also it doesn't matter what happened because the moral of my story and the whole reason I'm doing this vlog is to tell you that no matter what happens, you can get through it and you can get yourself back on track on the other side. So... I just want to tell you guys my steps and what I did, what I've been working on to get myself back to normal and to get myself back on track. Okay, so guys, first step number one is to be patient with yourself. That is definitely the hardest one for me because I'm very judgmental. I always like judge myself. I'm hard on myself. And I'm also a go-getter, so I'm always like, go, 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 no time for rest, and I'm sure if you guys are watching this, you're probably just like me. So, give yourself time to relax, rest, take it easy. Treat yourself with compassion and kindness and grace, because you owe it to yourself. You're the only vessel you have to achieve your goals. Okay, guys, number two. Number two is reevaluate. Think about what you want to accomplish and write that down. If it's like two or three things that you can really hone into and that you can say that by the end of the year, if you accomplish these two or three things that you would feel amazing, write that down and then we'll figure out how to break it down into like manageable chunks. So for me, that was getting in shape because I really just don't feel like I'm taking care of my health, my body, and that's important to me. I want to be fit again. My second goal is to pitch more companies. So that is something I haven't been doing since I've been sick. I have not been able to actively reach out to companies that I want to work with. And I'm sure you guys have so many people that you want to work with, whether you're an influencer, a blogger, or if you're in sales, or just in your job, whatever you do, or even if you're like a mom. There's people I'm sure you want to connect with because relationships are so important. Okay guys, number three. Number three. Next, what you do is let's divide this into like a quarter. So let's say the next three months, what are you going to do? Instead of taking like a six month chunk, just three months, that's it. Now divide your two goals, like pick two, I'd say pick two instead of three, that could be a lot unless you feel super ambitious or even pick one, but divide it into those three months. So if you, let's say your, your fitness goals, you want to say, okay, first month, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start finding a program that I want to do and committing to it. And then I'm going to do three days a week. Next month, 
Now I'm gonna up it. I'm gonna make sure I have a better water intake. I'm gonna do five days a week. Last month, third month, now you're saying, okay, now I'm gonna incorporate a diet, then I'm gonna edit, and I'm also going to do six days a week of working out. So you're gradually building what you're doing each month, and by the end of the third month, you should be in really good shape. So you made it to step number four. Last thing you do is you break down your monthly goals into a daily goal. Because how are you going to get those monthly goals accomplished if you're not working towards it every day? So in terms of fitness, what would you do? For me, it's making sure I go to bed the right time so that I get enough sleep so that I can wake up early in the morning. I'm putting my workout clothes, picking them out, putting them on the bench right before I wake up. I'm getting them, I'm making sure I have a glass of water, I'm getting excited, and I'm gonna work out that day. And then you're going to actually do it. Do what you say, hold yourself accountable. Don't wake up and say, I don't feel like it. Don't wake up and say, I have cramps, I don't feel good, I'm tired. Believe me, I said that, I said that like all the time. But who cares, because at the end of the day, if you don't do this, you're never gonna hit your monthly goals, and then you're gonna feel like crap, and that's not fun. So change your behavior. That's the way you get to your goals. That's the only way. So that's it. I just want to tell you guys thank you so much. I really hope that you can this can help you in some way because I go through this all this stuff too and this is real for me. I'm trying to be really talk to you about what I'm actually happening, what's actually happening to me as I go through it. So this is me, life of an entrepreneur. We all we all go through this stuff. So just make sure you take the time. Be patient with, your, with yourself, reevaluate, set the goals, and go get it, girl.